before. But you'll agree with me that this one is special and this one is unique. And I believe, students, that your presence here today is indeed a privilege to be part of this morning's ceremony. You have found yourself within the pages of our book, that is to say, the walls of this noble institution where history is being written. And I think and I hope that after today's proceeding, you'll be motivated as students, you'll be inspired, not just 20 or 40 years from now, but even now as students, to lift the school name and to do all that you can in behavior and performance to continue to give the school a good name. Now, this morning, we'll have the welcome remarks by Ms. Lauren Diali, our principal. Honorable Anthony Bolson, Minister of Education, Reverend Dr. Arthur James, our school manager, Mrs. Nadia Benjamin, mother of the late Mr. Roland Benjamin, Mr. Gentle Benjamin, past student and brother of the late Mr. Roland Benjamin, other relatives and friends, teachers, students, Persons of the media or the press, welcome, pleasant good morning to everyone. <laughs> Mr. Roland Benjamin, past student of McDonald College, a local pioneer in the entertainment and technological arena, and a true patriot. Mr. Roland Benjamin followed in his brother's footsteps and attended McDonald College in the late 1960s. I would say even at that time, the entire family demonstrated a love for this institution. Since they left the parish of St. Patrick to travel all the way to this esteem, to attend this esteem institution. His mother also served on the school board and was an integral part of the school's life. Mr. Roland Benjamin, upon completion of his secondary education, always chose careers in the technological field and also pursued further education in this area of his passion when he migrated to the USA. Now, anybody here rem remember anything called Culture Share? Maybe the students might be too young, but teachers remember Culture Share? Right. Now, I remember Culture Share, and I remember the days when only one television station was present in Grenada. And we used to look forward to watching that program called Culture Share. Culture Share is synonymous with what we would call Tempo today. You ever heard about Tempo? Yes. Right. You heard about BET? Yes. Right. So, Culture Share was a program, something like that, but it was a Grenadian Program. And you know what again is interesting? Where do you believe the founders of Culture Share came from? Grenada, but right here they are past students of McDonald College. And the founding members is this gentleman here behind the camera, Mr. Gentle Benjamin, and his brother, the deceased. Now, in addition to being in awe of the ingenuity of these class students, their loyalty for country and school cannot go unnoticed. Mr. Roland Benjamin unfortunately passed away in June of 2013 at the age of 59. Despite having family members to inherit the profits of his labor, he decided to share with those whom he thought contributed to his success. McDonald College, his alma mater, benefited generously in the sum of US dollars, $23,647.71. Okay, I think they deserve a round of applause. Words cannot explain 
our gratefulness for this donation. It is students like Mr. Roland Benjamin who make the teaching fraternity feel like a worthwhile venture and that teachers have made an impact in the lives of the students. From the bottom of our hearts, we want to thank the entire family for making us feel appreciated. All proceeds of this donation will go towards the erection of an audio-visual room that will be named in Mr. Roland Benjamin's honor. We always saw the need for such an addition, but funds never materialized. In this room, teaching and learning will be enhanced with technology. At McDonald College, we see no better fit for this donation than to place it into a field that the Benjamin family has a passion for. We are hoping that this may inspire some of our students to hopefully become stalwarts in a similar discipline. Once again, I say a heartfelt thank you to Mr. Roland Benjamin Nassim and his relatives for this generous contribution. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Diaby, for welcoming remarks. I saw it was that loud the excitement on your faces, students. Um, which, with such a large and generous, generous donation, um, I don't think the Ministry of Education would be silent on that. And so at this time, we'll have the Minister of Education himself, the Honorable Anthony Boson, to give some brief remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Reverend Dr. Oswald James. Manager of this noble institution. Principal Florine Biali. My good friend and mother of Roland and Gentle. This is Nidia. All the distinguished members of the head table, teachers, students, members of press, media. Let me say how pleased I am to be here this morning and to be a witness to this historic event. As a matter of fact, at this very moment, I should have been delivering the 50th address at the graduation of the Happy Hill Secondary School. But when I was told that this presentation will be made at the very same time of that graduation exercise. I had no choice but to ask my colleague, Minister of Youth, or an Elvin Pierre, to perform that duty for me at Happy Hill because under no circumstances I wanted to be left out of this very important event here this morning. First of all, let me thank Mrs. Benjamin once again for extending this invitation and to your principal for 
we enforce this invitation by sending someone to my office to ensure that I be present. Hi, friends. I did not tell you much because that will be done, I presume, when the profile of Roland will be presented. But I can tell you that as a past student of this institution, the gentleman who is standing behind the camera, and his name is Jeff, was my classmate. And Roland, his younger brother, entered the College in two years after we entered the College. Roland, not sorry, but this is, I don't know why I keep calling his name, but Jeff was reminding me not to know of something that he did, and I will not repeat it. But it was a bit mischievous. And I, I and, you know, whenever we think about it, we share it out. But those were the happy days, the fun days that we had at Brandon College. And it was very instructive to know the comment made by your principal that notwithstanding the fact that the Benjamin family resides in St. Andrews. They felt it necessary then to have their children educated here at McDonald College. And that must say something about the high esteem in which McDonald College was held in those days and even now. And you must be proud. You who are students of Cardinal College ought to be proud that you have attended, in my opinion, if not the best, but one of the best secondary schools anywhere in Grenada, carrying one big man. I have said before, and I will repeat, if it was not for McDonald College, many of us would not have achieved what we have achieved in life. Because in those days, education was not for secondary education, was not a right, it was almost, almost a privilege. And therefore, it meant that if you did not have the financial means to pay for your education, then it would be difficult. Or even more challenging was the fact that the options for secondary education were very few. Because we had very few secondary schools outside of the St. George Parish area. And therefore, McDonald College provided that opportunity for many of us who otherwise had to find the extra resources to travel all the way to St. George's to receive a secondary school education. So we must be thankful. And therefore, when I was told of the generous contribution that the deceased Roland has bequeathed to his alma mater, I say, well done, my friend, although he was taken away from us at such a relatively early age. His contribution will definitely go down in the history of Macdonald College as a very significant one 
because I have been told and have been mentioned that contribution will go towards the construction of an audiovisual room. And it is well known that Roland as well as Jekyll were pilots in the area of communication technology. You have heard of course your share, where Canadian talents were showcased for the world to see. And that was because of the vision, the foresight, and the efforts of Gentle and Roland. And we thank them for introducing to us at a very early age, long before we began to appreciate the importance of information and communication technology, Gentle and Roland were pioneers and paved that way. And therefore today I stand here as a proud past student of this institution and to share in this very proud moment of our institution and to commend the Benjamin Bank and in particular this is Major Benjamin because Roman contribution could have gone anywhere else. And I am told that he has made similar contributions to other schools. But the very fact that he has selected McDonald College to make a significant contribution of 23,000 US dollars tells you again the highest team in which we found the Benjamin family hold McDonald College. I cannot tell you that I can do, or that I will be able to do what I have done. But this is indeed a lesson for many of us who are fortunate enough to traverse the whole world of this institution to get our mind thinking that maybe Roland has set a piece that we will have to follow. And I am making no promise, but I can tell you that this is something that I will consider as well. But I don't tell you I want to die in order. <laughs> but I am telling you that it is something that many of us, ex-students of McDonald College, should consider. Because this institution has been good to us and will have to be good to McDonald College in return. So once again, thank you very much. We, we thank the Honorable Anthony Wilson, the Minister of Education, for his remarks. I am sure you will agree with me that after what Mr. Roland Benjamin has done, our knowledge of him must not stop at his name. It is important for us to know more of this individual who would have done such a remarkable thing for his alma mater. And so I invite at this time our Vice Principal, Mr. Carl Andal, to share a profile on this Established. This morning I'm here to read to you the profile of Mr. Ronald Benjamin. Well, I'm going to watch some people, but it's Roland Benjamin. Roland Benjamin, son of Nadia Benjamin, MBE, and Ronald Benjamin, OBE, deceased, born in the parish of St. David, but residing in the parish of St. Andrew where he attended primary school. Following his primary education at St. Andrew Anglican School and St. Andrew's Methodist School, he started the secondary education 
and Mandalore College, St. Patrick's. On graduation at Mandalore College, he worked with the Windward Islands Broadcasting Service, and the teachers would know that that was known as WIMS for a short period before traveling to the United States, where he entered the Technical Career Institute in Manhattan, New York. Having received the Technical Foundation from his dad, Renald Benjamin OBE, former Agricultural Specialist, Agricultural Information Officer, and trained radio operator. On graduation from the Technical Career Institute at Manhattan, he was hired by Bell Laboratories in New Jersey and later moved to Pennsylvania where he worked with AT&T. He also worked with Agent Systems for 25 years, Lucent Technologies and many other companies in the United States. At his passing on June 13, June 2013, he left in his will as part of his estate a sum of money for all the schools he attended in Grenada, along with the one in the United States. And as Ms. Diadio already told you, as well as the Honorable Minister to Magdalene College, he has left $22,647.71. As Mr. Bolton Bolson already said, we hope that the start of a new trend and in future, past students of Magdalene College, including current students today, and they pass in. They will be able to leave something for the school so that it could go from strength to strength. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Adam. Students and staff, we have reached the high point of today's ceremony. We have heard about this size of a donation. I believe we have smelled also how close it was to our institution is here today. And um, today we are going to see it. Uh, we are going to touch it. And uh, if you please, we are going to taste of it. Yeah? So at this time, I have invited uh, the mother of Mr. Roland Benjamin and our principal as we have the official handing over ceremony of the donation.
requested of the family that the children of the school come to the funeral service of John Benjamin M.B. to recite a poem written by him called Mama Sisi Bird, which they recite in the school every day in remembrance of John Benjamin. And Roland returned to the USA following his uncle's funeral. He sent the school US $1,000 in appreciation of the effort to attend the church service. Of course, you are told what he left for McDonald College, maybe twice the amount that he left for the primary schools. Roland also left US $17,735.97 for his, from his estate to Technical Career Institute in Manhattan, New York where he continued his technical skills. Maybe they're not, money is no problem for them, but again, in appreciation for the way they helped him, he still left some money for them. Having received technical education from his, his, his father, Renald Benjamin Obi, former agricultural specialist, agricultural information officer, and trade radio operator. Graduating from TCI Institute, he was hired by Bell Laboratories in New Jersey. Later, he moved to Pennsylvania and worked with AT&T. He worked with Agus Systems for 25 years, Lucent Technologies, um, and many other companies. During the first period of his stay in New York, must give gentlemen the honor because he stayed at Gentle's house while he was going to school until he got married and moved on his own. Now Roland also left a sum of money to the Reynolds and Nadia Benjamin Medical Foundation for the Princess Alice Hospital. Yeah. Um, we're not disclosing the sum right now, but it's a very good sum. And that is to help us to install the X-ray unit at the Princess Alice Hospital. We are ready, have plans to purchase the X-ray unit. We're just waiting for the help of government to start the job and the building. And we hope with the presence of Honorable Anthony Boston here today, he will use his influence and influence the government that we need this building to be started immediately so that we can bring that X-ray unit and get it installed. Now as young people growing up, I want you to take a page from Roland's book do what you could, when you could. We have to support Grenada and Grenada's people. We cannot be dependent on government to do everything. We have to do our share. And until at such time that we take an interest in our country and look after our people, we are not going to be going anywhere. So again, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy for the honor and the privilege and I'm thankful for all the past teachers, Dr. Wellington Friday and all the other teachers, some of them I don't recall their names now that I worked with while being on the board and um, all the other persons who supported McDonald College. I think it's a college of class and I want you to continue to grow and develop and make St. Patrick's proud and also Grenada proud. I thank you very much. We certainly want to say thanks to Nadia Benjamin, the mother of Roland Benjamin, for her information, for her advice to the students. 
and all of the comments and remarks that she has shared. Now, there's a little story in the Bible that students will pay attention, will listen, that speaks of ten lepers who received a miracle from the master. And they were all excited and joyful. So much so that nine of them suffered to see thank you. But there was one who came back. And I'm not saying that the late Roland Benjamin is the only one, but he came back to say thank you. And he said so by the size of a contribution to his alma mater for what this school has done in paving the way for his success. I am pretty sure that despite the joy and elation that you're feeling now, you want to say thank you. Is there anything that on behalf of the school in presentation of the flag? And now there are a few students who are going to say thank you in the form of a song on behalf of all you students who are the immediate beneficiaries of this contribution. So we call now the students, I think a group of them, who are going to say. They were children just like you. Okay? But I'm sure if you all was here, or if Mr. Jan was with you in a while, you realize that it all starts with a dream. Okay? It all starts with a dream. So times like this, I expect you to pay, give it your own divided attention. Because you realize that these are people who you could emulate and model your life after. And I'm happy you'll be seeing yourself on YouTube. So we're here on 20, 30 years from now. We're going to have some new invention that is done by somebody in the house. So Mandel, while you were talking with Mark during the ceremony, I hope that 20, 25 years from now, we have we could be standing here today and talk about a new invention that was designed by a mother of all the children. Okay? Right, but as I said, right now, I'd love to see you on YouTube in a few weeks from now. 